ya YouTubers, Tazman here, bringing you another episode of Regrowth. This is the game of Minecraft, where we are trying to take this evil, cold, desolate world and bring new life into it. And, uh, we're doing okay, I guess. <laughs> um, so in this episode, we actually are going to be doing quite a bit of our crafting. We're going to try and get some of this questing down kind of seems like we're at standstills on some of our other quests. I mean, we have this one tab in our book here that is completely empty. And Sky was mentioning that he believes that it might be because we haven't rolled anything. And in our last episode, we were sitting here trying to figure this guy out. We added redstone to it. We put two powers to it. Although I don't think when I did this, I don't think this one was turning on. So uh, we might need another switch for that or whatever. But uh, anyway, all I can say is uh, I feel humbled. Hey, wait, is that? Oh, that. Wait, when did we get villager eggs? Did we do that in? Hold on, I do not remember getting the villager eggs. Oops, wrong one. It is life. Life of the world. Oh, we did. Actually, now I do remember because we needed emeralds. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so anyway, we're going to begin. We have this rolling machine. It's all powered up. We probably need to put more power to it, but I turned it off for a little bit uh, just because I didn't want to waste all coal. Not that we have a limited supply of coal, but uh, it looks like this is not like a reserve. This is more of a crafting area. So what we want to do... Oh, that's aluminum. That's aluminum. Is... If we go look at our quest for this, and now I gotta remember where it is. I think it's built from maybe? Nope, not built from. Uh, embraces. No, it was up higher. I, I'm starting to think it was up. Yeah, here it is. So we need to build four iron plates. And as you can see, it's got the crafting recipe, but uh, it's wrong. I don't know why. Uh, well, I kind of do. I mean, when you're recording, it's really hard to... I mean, it's really easy to miss stuff. Uh, obvious stuff, too. But anyway, if we put four iron ingots in a pattern, instead of just like this, if we put them in a pattern, this bad boy will work, I think. In theory. Do I click this? Oh, yeah. Click to craft. And there we go. It's going to use up all the juice we're putting in it right now. And bam! Bam! So there you go. Um, that's the one. What? That one was working. Huh. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, uh, we did complete that quest. We're going to go ahead and mark it complete. It's not that great of a reward since we have a ton of cocoa already. And maybe this stuff goes fast. I don't know. What we have a ton of is this crystal oil. And if I made a bunch more jars, we could actually have a bunch more. So uh, anyway, let's continue on. So uh, that quest, I kind of wanted to get out of the way. Um, hold on just one second. Minimize that. There we go. And we are going to do some crafting stuff up here. We have at least one item we're going to do over there to uh, get through our, our different quests. So anyway... Uh, let's go ahead and begin. Oh, so if we come into our book and go, I believe it's under teachings. There we go. We can see we have a new book that we can make. Uh, this one was virtually impossible right now for us because it needs another star. Uh, we don't have wither heads or anything. Well, we have like one wither head. But uh, anyway, so we want to make the witch's bruise. And this is going to give us some stuff that we already have. But that's okay. So basically, it's really simple. It's just a book, uh, some kind of black thing like black dye, black powder, floral black powder. Uh, what else is a ink sack? A uh, piece of dirt and a feather. And we have more feathers than than we care to admit about. So uh, there we go. We have the book. We have that guy. So let's go ahead and complete that quest. Complete. And we get all this other fancy schmancy stuff. So that's all we're going to do in here. Um, enables, that's where we just were. So uh, we maybe one of these episodes we'll just have to put on our diving gear and the hose and everything and see how it works uh, and go look for this stuff. So we're, we're not doing that right now. 
but boy, it gives us a lot of stuff. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's new. I think. Yeah, these are all new. Sweet. Uh, so that wasn't in our thing. So let's go ahead and look at our pipes. So now we need a striped pan, 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 transport pipe. And this kind of explains, this is some of the stuff uh, Sky was mentioning that we want for our stuff over here is to store up eggs and the feathers and then have uh, the chicken itself go over to the other chest. Um, so the stripes transport pipe, it says here, diamond pipes will sort items in different directions based on filters specified by right clicking on the pipe. Stripe pipes will place any block that enters in them in the world in front of it. So I guess those just place a block. Um, blah, 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 enters them in the world in front of it. In front of it while unpowered. If powered, they do the opposite, so they, they break blocks. So you can put that on something mobile and just turn it into a miner. <laughs> Uh, if powered, they'll do the opposite, breaking any blocks in front of them and pulling the drops into the pipes. Emerald pipes are dun, 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 similar to wooden pipes, though are able to extract items from inventories much faster and can be filtered to only extract specific items. So I don't think we need that. This one definitely looks like what we're going to want at maybe the end of our hopper, our first hopper there to uh, do it. I'm also probably going to chain it into this guy so that we're uh, not having to have all the eggs and stuff floating around. I think that's probably not good. And then I think we had a void pipe. Don't we have a void pipe in like here? Obsidian. A void which destroys items. So if uh, well also we could yeah we'll, we'll worry about that when we get there. So anyway to make these three types of pipes all we have to do is um, simply so the stripes pipe is two gold gears and glass luckily we had our gold in our, our smell tree over there uh, the emerald pipe or the diamond pipe is next and that's two diamonds and a piece of glass that gives us eight of those I'm gonna have to make a chest just for pipes there's so many types of pipes and then there's the emerald pipe round robin extraction pipe so there we go that will complete that, and if we, we still can't claim the reward. What? There's more. But wait, there's more. Better routing. Oh, no, we have to choose one. Uh, I think I'm going to choose, the diamond seemed a little better for me. I could be wrong. And it also gave us golden transport pipes. We are going to have pipes coming out our ears. Okay, so that does that quest. Uh, now we have even more pipes. Touch of color, maybe colored pipes. I uh, can't do that one, so let's move on down. Uh, so the next one we're going to do is this golden compass. It's invisible here, but it's pretty easy to make. Uh, it's basic. Uh, wait, am I on the wrong one? Wait a minute. We, we skipped one up here still. We're in the pipe area. We needed to uh, make our pump, our, our well oiled here. So uh, this was to make a combustion engine. Uh, once again, this one's a little bit of a, a, a not a challenging, but a, an expensive recipe, but not too bad. I mean, we have iron coming out our ears. <laughs> so anyway, uh, basically all you do is uh, you have a piston, two iron gears, redstone, and three iron ingots, and that gives you the combustion engine. Now I bet, here, let's do this. Let's Clean up just a little bit. I keep that in there. Uh, the block of aluminum. Is that aluminum too? Yes. Put that in there. That's the iron. Just a little clean up, real quick. Uh, block of iron. Iron. Uh, that's for later. Uh, let's clean up this guy. This is our book bag. <laughs> Bing. Wait. I've got an extra book. Was that a, that was the quest reward, wasn't it? Uh, let's do this real quick. We don't want to put that book in there. Sorry, I probably shouldn't do this while we're, okay, let's continue on. I just wanted a little extra space. So and now what we're going to do, we'll go ahead and claim this. It's going to give us four extra engines and four fluid tanks. Oh, maybe not. 
we made it. Oh yeah, we can claim it. There we go. Feels like Monday, even though it's Saturday. <laughs> okay, so that was that guy. Next, we have that compass, the golden compass. Something about a waypoint compass or something. Um, and once again, surprise, surprise. I have no idea what it really does. So let's just read it real quick. Uh, with just the waypoint compass, you can shift click to enter coordinates and name for your waypoint, and it will point to the location. If you store one or more in your atlas, you can select a, you can select a compass and then click the waypoint to select it. So you can have only one waypoint per compass or something. The waypoint pins. That's what. No, waypoint pins on the map. Are, okay. Let's just make this. So compass, I believe this is the exact same recipe in regular Minecraft, just uh, four ink iron ingots and a redstone. To turn it into the golden compass, surprise, surprise, you overlay it with gold. And we get the waypoint compass. And the fact that it's given us two more waypoint compasses, and man, we have so many empty waypoints. Oh, they don't stack. That's not cool. <laughs> and a whole bunch of maps. All right, so that's that. Then we have this right here. Now this one is for the witchery oven. And it's supposed to make it so that you, it, one, crafts faster, and two, it has less chance of losing your items. So the quest is only to do, oh, poop, uh, only do one of the, uh, oh, I have to go get some, <laughs> dang it. I thought I increased everything in there, but I guess I didn't. So we need uh, two more glowstone. I think I have that right here. here. Crap. Is it here? Nope. I know I have somewhere. I have some glowstone. If not, I'll just go make some more. It's not. There we go. We have some glowstone dust. Four. One, two, three, four. Plus we have our other thing for making glowstone. So there we go. There's two of those. We will also need the yellow bag for just a minute. Uh, we need two more of one, two, three, four of those. Uh, there's that and that. Put that back. Uh, and then the last thing what was the last thing? Oh, iron bars. That's where I put the glowstone, is with the iron bars. There it is right there. Dang it. Okay. <laughs> I just remembered. Uh, okay, so let's run over here real quick. And we'll go. So these flumes or fumes or whatever the heck it's called. A fume. I said flume. Um, make it so that your uh, witch's oven is one, it's faster. And... That's if you put it on the top, I believe is what the book says. You put one on the top and it makes it faster. You put two on the two sides and it makes it so it's more efficient. And before we go do our stuff in that, I wanted to make sure that we had more efficiency. So we're going to do these stack. Oh no, but we need this. Two. Oh good, they do stack. And three. And of course it consumed. I made a ton of buckets. <laughs> For this very purpose. All right, so that's the last of these quests. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is come down here and let's go ahead and complete this 100%. Rewards. Um, hello. Oh, we already claimed that one. Uh, we wanted to go down to. I don't think. Is it built from? No. It was the next one. Encoding. Yeah, no. Not that one. We're going to work on encoding though. Uh, life? No, I know it's not life. It's grows. So here we go. We're going to complete this. This is going to give us... We have so many clay jars. Um, I can only imagine that they're useful somewhere. But, uh, yeah, we've got lots of clay jars. Alright, so here's... Uh, from what I understand, you can place one of these on top. Uh, do we hold shift? There. Oh. They're a lot smaller than I... Oh. Oh, cool. That looks like it connected to the crafting table. So do I cook in these instead? That I don't know. So what we're working on now is uh, this quest right here. We can't do this. We have to kill a witch. We have to find a witch to kill a witch. Or 
The other thing we can do is we can actually use the witch egg and make a witch and then kill the witch. And that will kill one witch. So as you can see here, you have to kill one witch. This one we really can't do because we need to do Spanish moss. We just got more of that mutandus stuff. So uh, we might be able to get some Spanish moss from that. I wonder why this like has these lines on it like that. Is that part of is it because it's connecting to this table? I don't know. So anyway, that's what we're doing here is we're making Oh, I didn't say that part, did I? <laughs> we're doing Dr. Doolittle here. So we're making this Polynesia charm. And what we need for that is these three uh o odor of purity, whiff of magic, odor wait, these two are the same? Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I was watching the little thing on what you needed to put in them for like 20 minutes because um, I was paranoid that we were going to fail. So it looks like we need just two orders order, of purity. That will cook three, I believe. We're just going to stick. That'll cook six. So we're going to try this and really hope it works for us. Uh, put the jars in there and do that. So we need two odors of purity, which is the hawthorn cooked. It seems like with, come on, work. Oh, good, it worked. I don't know if those stacks. So I wonder if I can take it out. Oh, beautiful. And they do stack anyway. Uh, so anyway, we needed two odors of purity, which were with burning the hawthorn. Now, this is the one, or not the hawthorn, the, what was that one called? The, this is, oh, yeah, the hawthorn. This is the rowan. Now the Rowan one, which is going to give us this other sapling, uh, this other type. I watched this thing for quite a while, and it seems like it's very specific that it needs to be some kind of wooden crafted item. Uh, after a while, I ended up seeing a drawer pop up, so I decided, hmm, I'll just use my drawer, my extra drawer that I had. So hopefully this works also. So we put that in there. Uh, don't put that up yet. There we go. And we'll see if this works. Please work. Ah, perfect. And, and watching that, like on the Hawthorne ones, I saw uh, wood, uh, saplings popping up. I saw wood items, shovels, and everything else. But I wasn't 100% sure. So what we want to do is, there we go, Polynesian Charm. Hoorah. So, uh, how you work? Wait. It clicks. Looks like I put it on a bracelet or something. I don't know. We'll figure that out. Actually, I bet you it tells it. Let's do what Sky always tells us to do. I read the quest. Uh, simple right click on any adult non-aggressive mob to trade with the charm in hand. And oh, Trace? Trading with them. This includes zombies, skeletons if wearing the necromancer's robe and the creepers if wearing a witch's robe. So you can trade? That's weird. Arrow wanted to talk to the animals you've brought back to this or you brought back to this world. Where there's a will, there's a way. With a Polynesian charm, you can not only talk to, but even trade with your animal friends. We gotta try this. So we're gonna we're gonna do uh, this quest right here too. But I wanna I wanna talk to the animals. <laughs> I wanna see what it does. Hopefully, it doesn't consume this charm. Um, hello, cow. So what do I trade? You want a rock? <laughs> no. Do I give you an empty bucket? Two empty buckets? Huh. How about a sheep? Oh, there we go. Oh, so did the cat have something up top? The cat didn't have anything up top. The sheep is saying if I give it two wheat, it will give me belladonna. How about this guy? Oh, they're different. I don't need tongues. So if I go to other cow, cow, oh, there's a cow. Oh, that's cool. I might, oh, this is consuming it though. Let's see what a pig will say. Potato, six of those. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I want to talk to a chicken. Chickens are evil. 
23 seeds, it'll give me 11 feathers. Yeah, like I need that. Well, that's cool. But it is consuming it, it looks like. Does this tell me anything? Alright, well that is pretty cool. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's make our last thing here. Holy cow, our inventory's full. We need to dump a bunch of this off. I know I keep saying also, oh, I'll just organize this uh, a little later. I haven't really organized it yet, have I? Uh, I know I have. I kind of have it organized, uh, but not really. All right, so we want to do this. Maybe this. Uh, we're gonna need our our wand. Our wand. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and grab this. What we're going to do is we're going to complete uh, another quest that we've had for a long time and we haven't done a lot to it. Oh, we haven't claimed this thing. We just got whatever that thing is. And we unlock that. Uh, I believe, oh, where is it? It's under, no, it's not teaches, enables, nope, embraces. I think it's embraces. Nope, not embraces. The next one, built from, nope, <laughs> dang it. Uh, encoding? Yes, it's encoding. So we're going to work on this one. I went all over our world, uh, or at least our island that we're on, looking for bees so we could do this. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to make that kind of hive. So these are the items we need for it. Uh, bef we actually don't need a slime ball. Uh, what we need is something different. We needed one queen and three drones. I'm going to put that up that there or there like that uh, and then to stand in here as well so uh, what we actually need instead of the slime balls we needed a piece of cactus so because this has the catalyst underneath it we can throw that in there get a cactus and there we go so if we put the queenie in there three drones two sand uh, essence of earth and essence of wind and the cactus we get it doing its thing. We haven't done this magic for a little while, so this episode we've kind of actually, you know, we've done a little bit of all our types of uh, learnings here. And we did some rolling, we did some witchery, we did a lot of crafting. And so there is our hive. Now, this looks like you just place it and use the scoop to break it. I totally forgot that I had everything hidden over here uh, for my bees. So I actually ended up making another scoop because I, I was running around. I know I have a scoop somewhere, but uh, I never could find it until now. So I think this we just break. And these are the ones that we use to uh, actually get more bees. So there's that. Oh, I have a ton of that. I forgot about that. So uh, there you go, guys. Let's see. I wanted to check also uh, how this guy's been doing. I haven't really checked it much. It's not even close to five, apparently. So yeah, 38 chicken in there, all cooked. It looks like they still have a chance to have a couple eggs and a couple feathers. Quite a few feathers. Um, but uh, we'll probably fix all that in one of these next episodes where we get rid of all these extra stuffs we don't need. Maybe we'll put the two barrels of like right here for eggs and feathers. And we'll stick a void thing in there. Alright guys, well I think that does it. I think we are good. We got quite a bit done. Um, pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I'm just trying to think real quick. Was there anything else? I don't think there is. I think we be good. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you're enjoying this. I'm hungry. I know you're probably wondering why I'm still eating bread. It's because I have it. When it's gone, we'll switch to chicken. I'm That guy's not going to produce way too much chicken. But we still have... A fair amount of bread <laughs> might as well get rid of it uh, but uh, then once we get there we'll, we'll switch to chicken what oh, delicious delicious chicken 
All right, well, guys, thank you, like I said, so much for watching. I do hope you're enjoying this. If you are, please leave a thumbs up down below. Aside from that, comment, like, and subscribe. Follow, follow me on Twitter. <laughs> Check out my Discord. And uh, that's it. Until next time, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.